This is W3 Schools homepage. If you go right here, it will bring you into learning W3 CSS, which is a very simple um, content management system for your CSS is the best way I can describe it. Um, it's built, it's responsive, and it says that down here. But um, it's a newly designed modern, modern style sheet with built-in responsiveness. And I'm playing around with that today. With I'm on the menu bars. And um, it breaks it down into categories over here on the left. There's navigation. I'm choosing this one, shift content to the right. This is the concept I'm trying to get. Here's the code over here on the left. And then when you click see results and click that, it'll demonstrate to you how it's supposed to work. I wanted that in my website. So what I did was I took this code and just copied it and pasted it into Dreamweaver so I could look at it better there. Here I can see the CSS and that just makes things easier for me and probably will for you too. Uh, so I highly recommend that y'all do that. Let me see if I can get it to come out for y'all. Yeah, there it is. So anyways, I did it like that because I wanted to see um, I wanted to see the CSS panel. It's not displaying as well as it normally does when I'm not recording, but recording slows it down. But as I click on things here, my CSS stuff will come up over here, and I like that aspect. Once I got it in here and started looking at it, see, I can throw it up into a browser in here too, which is also helpful. There it is. That's right here. If you look at the URL, that's on my local host. That's their code on my local host. So that's helpful. All right. So then I can kind of dissect and see what I'm lurking with. Um, this was interesting for me. Let me preview this. Okay. So see, you see it works here. These don't, they don't have anything there, but this is interesting to me. Change that to 15%. This is what it does. This doesn't come out as far. That's 15%. This is 25%. So at 25%, this navigation, this dials the side nav, which is this um, my my navigation right here you see side nav it's dialing that so when the user comes in and clicks on the open button this 9976 is the open button which is this little thing I don't know if y'all can see it in the upper left hand corner but it's this this little thing here. It's kind of small here, but that's what that is. So when the user comes in and clicks that button, which they call the open button, it fires off this function down here. And this function says when the user clicks the open, style the main div with a um, margin to the left of 25%. And so what the main div is, let me show you what that looks like. See, there's the main div. It's 15% it's to the left, so it's still over here, and you don't see it. Let's do 35. So every time my user comes in, those styling functions are changed. And it tells okay so it comes in it says display it in block and the side nav it's what it's doing is it's changing um the styles for this the side nav is styled one way up until this is clicked when this is clicked then the new style comes in and this is the new style that comes in yeah we're back to where we started 
my I so what I did was I copied and pasted this into my this pieces I needed out of this and then I manipulated it into mine. Yeah, there's mine. Okay, so this is mine. And I'm working on it. There's still some things I want to look at. Uh, I finally got this to work, but it wasn't working initially, and it had to do with the card. I hadn't put the, um, there's a class for card, and I didn't initially have that in there, and without it, it won't display. I, I added that. Um, so when the page is initially fired, this is what it looks like. The display is none. Then when I come down here and click the open navigation, this is fired off. I'm clicking the open navigation. The first thing that's styled is the wrapper. The style margin is 15% to the left, which is this right here. This is the wrapper. This stuff over here, this is not the wrapper. This is what they had initially. So you can see this is your wrapper stuff right here. I thought 15% looked better, so I'm using that. And then this was the uh, width of the navigation uh, panel, which is this blue stuff here, which if you go up here, it'll say side nav. Okay. And so that initially was 25%, and I'll show you what that looks like. It'll overlap the wrapper at 25%. But I'll show you. That's what 25% looks like. Again, I just thought 15% looks like better. Okay, then the other thing is down here, the open nav class, which is what we've given this little um, button, is set to none. When So when the user fires off that uh, script by clicking that, that JavaScript by clicking that, that little button gets hidden. See, here's the button. When the user comes along and fires it off, this pops up, but that button gets hidden. So that's what that line of script does. Okay, on the close, which is that little X, and you can see it here as well. Right here, they've closed it. Okay, so what they did was they made that an anchor, and when the user comes along and clicks on it, this script is um, fired off. So here's the script for the close function. The margin on the wrapper goes to 0%, and you can see that very easily. When the fire button is clicked off here, close, the margin Um, the next thing you see is the style display is none, and that's true. It That whole uh, side nav, which is that blue content, this is all the side nav. When this is fired off, that does display none. The next line of script is um, the inline block. This open nav displays in an inline block form. And the open nav, but uh, the open nav um, item is this little button up here, right here, and that's true. It does display in block form. Where it hit, whereas it before it had been hidden. So that's how that works. Basically, what happens with JavaScript is when a user comes along and clicks the open nav button, it fires off this script down here. And you see all this. When the user comes along and clicks this close button, it fires off this function here. Um, another interesting thing that I have learned is if you go to Tools, this is very helpful on um, Responsive Design View will give you this. 
and it will show you what your bra uh, what your display looks like in different presets and you can remove presets you can customize presets you can do whatever you want to do so and you can also punch them in and you can also there's handles here so I can drag them out and it'll tell me in the upper left hand corner what size I'm I'm at so that's just uh, JavaScript real plain and simple. Basically what happened with JavaScript on this page is when a user comes along and clicks the open or close button, JavaScript fires off a, uh, a function that somebody has written um, to uh, do certain things to the CSS. So basically what, Java, uh, what JavaScript is allowing us to do in this application is, is allowing us to change the CSS based on what the user does. So if the user closes the close button or clicks that close button, um, it, the CSS on your page will change and this is how it will change. If the user clicks the open little icon, that little square icon that has the lines in it, the user's uh, CSS, the CSS as they see it will display it. So um, it's JavaScript's really powerful tool in that aspect. It does change the CSS based on, it can change the CSS based on what is going on with uh, the user's interactions. So uh, just some real quick notes on that and um, I hope it helps some people. Thank you.